I'll be with you throughout this 40 days. I'll be uh, meditating with you. I'll be encouraging you. I'll be guiding you. I'll come back every now and then and give you some morsels of inspiration. But I want to encourage you to have the strength to continue the 40 days all the way through. And the gentleness with yourself when you're dealing with the kinds of issues and emotions that may surface as a result of doing this meditation okay so we're going to begin so come sitting get in a relaxed posture either sitting on the floor in easy pose or if you can't then you have to sit in a chair make sure you're not in a lounging chair but that you're sitting nice and tall that your spine can be erect and bring your palms together so you're uniting the left and the right hands together the negative and positive poles of the body together at the heart center where there's a place of balance and neutrality and from here, we want to tune in, tune in to that legacy of teachers and teachings that have made this moment in our lives possible. So we draw on that relationship. We realize that that's an energy force flowing through us all at this time. And we begin to honor it by chanting Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. And let's begin. We're going to chant it three times together. Let's inhale. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev breath in, suspend the breath, don't breathe out, just hold still for a moment and place your intention for today's meditation and practice on this breath. Allow it, see it, put it in your prayer and now to the universe, exhale and let it go. Just let your body begin to move easily. The feet under you, let your legs move. Just feel your ankles and your knees and your hips shifting. And begin to expand that movement a little bit. As you tune into the body, the body's movement, the body's song, the body's story. Oh, my foolish mind. Why do you cry out for you get, you get old? Take what comes 
to your body and as you're loving yourself and appreciating yourself and honoring yourself just touch it's prayerful caressing your body so to say thank you my arms thank you my elbows thank you my wrists You lift the chest up, the head is back. You're not crunching your lower back, you're lengthening your lower back, but you're just letting the shoulders hold back. Heart is up. It's all about the heart. It's all about the heart.
hold for a few more seconds. Let the breath go. Let the breath really go. Slowly lift the head up. Slowly bring the head up. to stand in mountain pose for a moment, moving down through your feet and your legs, lengthening the spine upward, pulling up the top of your crown, just stretching up to the crown, and feel the relaxation in the body, nice, oh my mind, why do you worry so? When the Lord himself now, is taking your care. You can come sitting back He's and use the pose again. In the rocks and we're going to stones, begin the and meditation. Okay. He's also placed before them. So why do you fear on the mind? The good Lord provides for everyone. So the meditation is called clearing the emotions from the past. It's a very powerful meditation. A yogi Bhajan says, do it for 11 minutes or until you feel some kind of release. So we're doing it for 11 minutes here. But I want you to think about if you feel to carry it on past the time that we're doing it, then feel free to do so, okay? Because this is going to relieve a lot of emotions from past situations. It's going to ease memory of issues with family. Uh, it's going to help to change and shift subconscious feelings that happen in relationships. We're going to, it's going to help you to even transform some of the things that are going on in the present that you can take in that moment and just offer to the divine, you know? So it, it's covering past, present, and future in a beautiful way that we can really tangibly uh, let go. Okay? So... You're sitting in easy pose. The mudra you're using is like this. You're going to touch the tips of all of your fingers together. Just the tops, the tips of them. You're not folding the hand in prayer pose. You're just touching the tips. And the palms are separated. Fingers are pointing up, so it's like a little steeple. The palms are open. Now your eyes are going to be focused at the tip of your nose. You want to actually see the tip of your nose. So the eyes are slightly open so you can see the tip of your nose. Sometimes if you're not used to holding this, this gaze, it might be a little bit challenging for you. And if you have to shut your eyes down for a little bit, then open them back up again as soon as you can and try to develop the ability to stabilize yourself there because what that's gonna do, is gonna activate the pituitary gland and pineal gland, which is so essential to us experiencing this that state of shunya, that state of stillness and peacefulness, that neutrality which helps us to really open up and allow ourselves to let go of feelings, grudges, bad feelings, let them go. And focusing at the tip of the nose will help a lot. So now you have your mudra, you know where you're going to gaze your eyes. Now here's the breath, it's the breath motion, uh, meditation. The breath is going to go inhale, hold, exhale. Inhale, hold, exhale. You're going to inhale for five seconds. Hold for five seconds. Exhale for five seconds. Immediately again, inhale five, hold five, exhale five. Inhale five, hold five, exhale five. We're gonna to get to four breaths a minute. Normally we breathe 16 to 17, 18 breaths per minute. This is breaking it down to four breaths per minute, which is gonna slow down the mind, activate these higher glands and create a sensation of peacefulness within. Five seconds in, five seconds hold, five seconds out, okay? Here's your mudra, your gaze at the tip of your nose, and I'm going to talk you through. I'm going to count the five seconds for you as we do three rounds. Then I'll leave you on your own, okay? 
So, and at that point, we'll let the music play, but not before. All right, here we go. So in your position, take a deep breath in to begin. Breathe all the breath out completely. And inhale for one, two, three, four, five. Hold one, two, three, four, five. Exhale one, two, three, four, five. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. Hold one, two, three, four, five. Exhale one, two, three, four, five. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. And hold one, two, three, four, five. Exhale one, two, three, four, five. Now continue. Echo.
Sidi Wahiduru, Sidi Wahiduru, Sidi Wahiduru. 
and exhale gently. Breathe in again deeply and stretch your arms up. Reach up as high as you can. Stretch the spine, stretch the shoulders, stretch the arms. Exhale and shake the arms, shake the shoulders. point I think it's good just to relax a little bit just to sit for a moment just allow that energy that you've built in the meditation with the breath just move through the body freely and relax it's always good to think about maybe doing some journaling during this process it's a good time just to write down some of the thoughts the feelings the experiences that you're having in these 40 days just to watch your process of unfolding that inner you. And uh, Ramdesh has a beautiful uh, guided meditation that she's going to make available to you at least once a week. So you can also have that as an addendum to this practice. So you can just have so much support to help you develop and strengthen your gift of forgiveness. Are you good? Bring your palms together and let's just chant. Uh, let's give three sat nams so that we can kind of stabilize this space that we're in, um, ground ourselves a little bit, and be ready for the rest of our day. So let's inhale to begin. Sat nam. Sat Nam Sat Nam Inhale deeply Exhale Be with peace Till we meet again Sat Nam